Oh, right, just thought I'd do a video kicking a false doctrine. Uh, it's a common belief out there that Satan is an angel and that he is basically a fallen angel. And I used to believe that myself till very recently, but the word of God says differently. You see, Satan is not an angel, okay? I'm going to show you what Satan is in the word of God. So, Ezekiel chapter 28, beginning at verse 13. Thou hast been in the Garden of Eden, the Garden of God. One of the titles of the Garden of Eden is the Garden of God. Just thought I'd point that out. Every precious stone was thy covering. This, uh, the uh, sardius, topaz, and the diamond. The beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, the our carbuncle, the gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets and thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Yes, Satan is a created being, okay? Don't believe Hollywood when it makes you seem like, oh, Satan and God are just, it's an equal match. No, Satan's a created being. And Satan is just a little puppet for God. You know, Satan is just doing God's will, and he's too stupid to realize it, okay? Again, all these big, you know, Illuminati, high-level Jesuits, you know, everything, a lot of them are just a bunch of pawns in God's game, pretty much. God controls them. They can't do anything without God allowing them to. You can read uh, Job chapter 1, uh, in Job chapter 2, Satan has to get God's permission to harm Job. He can't do anything without God's permission. He has to get God to allow him. So, yeah, he's just a little puppet for God, pretty much. Uh, but look at verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon thy holy mountain of God, and thou walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Okay? What is Satan? He's a cherub. He's not an angel. And it's worth noting, too, he is the fifth cherub that is missing from Ezekiel chapter 1, verse number 5. Look at verse 15. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created, so again, Satan's a created being, till iniquity was found in thee. Now look at this. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane of, out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, Again, he's a cherub. From the midst of the stones of fire. Look at verse 17. Thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. You know, uh, 2 Corinthians 11, uh, 15. Satan comes as the angel of light. He's bright. You know, when you see a bright angel, when these people claim, oh, I've seen a bright angel, they're seeing Satan. When they claim they've seen this bright, you know, Jesus figure, these, some of these charismatic devils, they're seeing Satan. They're not seeing an angel of God. Or, you know, they're not seeing Jesus Christ as well either. Uh, look at this. I'll cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. Okay, look at verse 17. What does this sound familiar to? Turn to Isaiah chapter 14. See, in, in a Bible-believing Christianity, we compare scripture with scripture. We don't just base doctrine off one or two verses. Okay. How art there, uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. How art there fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art there cut to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, like verse 16, you know, thy heart was lifted up. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, the mountain of God, in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. He's being lifted up. He then he's brought down. So comparing Ezekiel 28 verses 13 and 16 with Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 to 15, we clearly see that, yes, Satan is a cherub. And Ezekiel 28 verse 13 to 16 is describing Satan. Sorry, verse, 16, verse 13 to 17. Sorry, Ezekiel 28, 13 to 17. So Satan is not an angel. He is a cherub. He, again, he's the fifth cherub that's missing from Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5. So I just wanted to just kick that false doctrine that, oh, he's an angel. I used to believe that myself, that he's a fallen angel. No, he's not. He's a cherub. A cherub is not an angel. It is a heavenly being. A cherub is a heavenly being, uh, but it's not an angel. It's not the same thing. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.